Hey guys, this is Imani Humphreys Torres for City Schools TV on a new web series we're calling The New School, coming to you guys from my home during quarantine, maintaining my social distance. But I just wanted to get the perspective and thoughts from our community and how they're dealing with distance learning. Right now, I'm joining Ms. Katia Stokes, a director of student wholeness for Baltimore City Public Schools. So okay. the first thing I just want to know is, what is being done to incorporate much needed social and emotional learning into these virtual classrooms? We are embedding SEL activities, and we're asking teachers to embed SEL activities every day. It is really exciting. It's a really cool thing. It is growing and thriving together. We are connected, we are courageous, and we are compassionate. So the activities each week align with that overall theme of either being courageous, compassionate, or connected. And what I think is really awesome is each day there's a different focus or theme. So Mondays is Mindfulness Mondays. Mm -hmm. And that's just to remind us that I am well and I am balanced. Tuesday is Thoughtful Tuesday. And this is really more of a time to really focus on community and students get an opportunity to experience a virtual circle. Mm -hmm. And really there, this is a really time to really help students to remember that I am a part of this larger family. I am a part of City Schools family. Wednesday is Wellness Wednesday. So you have a, tan a chance to do a little exercising, physical activity, maybe some belly breathing or some mindfulness but really focusing on making sure physical wellness takes place too. Thursday is Thankful Thursday. So we're spending time on um, just reflecting on those things that we are really grateful for. And then Friday is Affirming Friday. Um, and this is the time we're really having students focus on I am enough, right? This is such a challenging time where it can really cause you to really think um, so we are focusing on affirming Fridays, really doing positive statements, affective statements to really affirm who we are and really feel good about ourselves, even in the midst of all of this. That sounds amazing, especially for families who are kind of in either like, you know, tighter living situations or less than favorable kind of like um, situations at home. So that's really great that you guys are taking these steps to make sure that like amidst all of this, everyone's going to be okay, you know? That's yes. Really and then I feel like that's kind of going to be incorporated into the original plan for student wholeness rooms. Like that is going to be like the new direction for everyone. Is that kind of what like the new plan is? So our student wholeness specialists um, have really taken on this new virtual platform. They have created Google classrooms. They have created um, video sessions on Blackboard Collaborate. And there are tons of amazing activities happening. So specialists are doing things from breathing, sessions for breathing, sessions for puppet shows for little ones. Um, for some of those things that I said about Affirming Fridays, mm -hmm. students have an opportunity to like design t-shirts about who they are. Um, so the student home specialists have really been able to take the essence of what they do in the room to the virtual platform. So I know, and especially in all this time, each individual school usually has like, you know, a different set of culture or activities that they're doing. So moving forward, what are you guys gonna be doing to continue cultivating school culture and community? Ooh, really great question. <laughs> I wanna say that, you know, our schools have really been taking the lead on this. I am gonna give a shout out to our teachers and our principals who have really, um, use this as a time to reinvigorate and create a synergy around culture, around community and schools. So if you are on Twitter or if you're on Facebook or TikTok, you will see that across all of our schools, okay. there's things from TikTok Tuesday, there are <laughs> motivational videos from teachers. Mm -hmm. um, and so those are all the things that help to make school what it is, right? Mm -hmm. And those are the things that we will remember. So creating those memories, creating new traditions, having spirit week. So I heard your offices are providing support opportunities for staff and family members. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, we have quite a few things going on. So I'll start with the families first. Uh, every day of the week, we are offering virtual office hours for families. 
Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are for parents who have children in kindergarten through fifth grade. And Tuesday and Thursday are for parents who have children in sixth through 12th grades. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about this and really want to get the word out for families to join us. We are going to have an opportunity for families to experience mm -hmm. some of those uh, SEL activities that their children are experiencing. So we're going to give parents an opportunity to learn some breathing techniques, okay. um, give parents a space to be able to talk about um, how they can support their children at home and really think about how to balance what it's like to take on being the new teacher for their kid <laughs> and then also balancing all the experiences that yeah. are happening at the same time. So I'm really excited about that. And then for teachers, we are also offering virtual office hours for teachers to be able to check in. Because we also want to make sure that while teachers are taking care of others, that we are also taking care of them. So we are creating virtual office hours for teachers to be able to call in and check in with us on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And it's with the wholeness team. And there we're going to give them a space to really talk about how adult SEL comes into play right now as we are trying to support our students. So what is it that adults need? What is it requiring of them to give right now? But then also be thought partners with them around, so how else do we push this work around SDL and building community? And really hearing from them what more do they need from us. Mm -hmm. So if you are a student that happens to be at one of those wholeness sites, remember to check out, um, look for your wholeness specialist who has a space, a virtual space for you to be able to engage in some meditation and some breathing and some exercise activities. And at those wholeness sites, those are occurring at least twice a day, mm -hmm. once in the morning and again in the afternoon. All right, that is amazing. And really quickly, just for our viewers at home who might not know, can you quickly tell us what SEL is? Absolutely. So SEL stands for social emotional learning. And there are five skills that are comprised in social emotional learning. And that's self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, relationship skills, and responsible decision making. So those are all the skills when you think about it that it, we are really having to call on right now in this moment. And that's why it's critically important that we are really focusing on social emotional well-being of everyone. So that is all the time that we have for today. But I just quickly want to say thank you so much for joining me in this interview today and taking time out of your social distancing to answer a few questions. Thank then, you. It was a pleasure being here with you. I'm excited to have this opportunity with you. And then a huge thank you to all of our viewers for tuning in today. Be sure to stay safe. This has been Imani Humphrey Soares for City Schools TV coming to you guys from my screen to yours during quarantine. See you next time.